A great weekend of basketball in Buffalo, New York has come to an end. Hi everybody, Gus Johnson along with Len Elmore and welcome back to Buffalo and we've seen some pretty good basketball and some teams that should make a lot of noise as the tournament continues into the Sweet 16. We look at the West where Syracuse advances by blowing out Gonzaga and they'll take on Butler. Well Syracuse made no question about the fact that they are a number one seed and they demonstrated it with total dominance both inside and out. They had two guys really getting it done for them. Wes Johnson, the Big East player of the year, utilized his athleticism, his length, and certainly his three-point shooting accuracy to help put Gonzaga away early. And then Andy Routens was absolutely on fire from three, using screens and in a workmanlike manner, really got it done. Just buried three after three after three. Impressive. And in the east, it's the West Virginia Mountaineers, the number two seed advancing. They received a little bit of a scare. However, they managed to take care and advance. Now it will be a two versus an 11, West Virginia, Washington. Cornell will take on Kentucky as the West Virginia Mountaineers do it again. Well, West Virginia was able to do it and secure the win by putting it in the hands of their senior and their go-to guy, Deshaun Butler. Butler in the first half hit the big shots when needed to keep West Virginia ahead in that first half. And when it came down to making winning plays in the second half, he got the job done as well, including the free throws that put West Virginia ahead for good. Outstanding job on the boards as well as from the line by Deshaun Butler. And West Virginia 25 of 33 from the free throw line. Terrific job for the Mountaineers when the game was on the line. So, Len, uh, uh, with all that considered, uh, your final thoughts to what has taken place here in Buffalo and what will take place in Salt Lake City and in Syracuse. Well, these two Big East representatives, one seed Syracuse, a two seed West Virginia, they may have their work cut out for them, but obviously they're able to play different styles, and these two teams are certainly formidable and could wind up uh, in a Final Four situation. All right, so for Lynn Elmore, I'm Gus Johnson saying goodbye from Buffalo. On the American side, you see Niagara Falls. We've had a great weekend, and enjoy.